How are you all doing? Good? <laughs> all right. Uh, my name is Tal Eidelberg, and I started a business when I was 24 years old as a computer science undergraduate student. And that business is called Intrigma, and we do workforce scheduling. We basically do a cloud software that lets you schedule physicians and nurses in the hospital in a way that's very optimal. So what I'm going to try to do today is take some of the lessons that I've learned from the challenges of being an entrepreneur. How do I get to that next level, to the next promotion, to, to how do I find the mentors, all those things, and try to map it to practical things that could be useful to you. Today for me is all about you. I want you to walk away from here successful. What degree do you think carries the most weight in healthcare, an MHA, an MBA, an MD? <laughs> One that starts with M. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a degree that starts with an M, and it's a degree in motivation. <laughs> <laughs> just, just bring like a drive with you. I think if you bring that a a a anywhere, you're just going to succeed regardless of your degree. What's the, the one piece of advice you'd give everybody for breaking into your field? I would look for the places that fit best. If there is this Venn diagram of what you're good at, what you're going to get paid for, what you love doing, uh, and what the world needs, you're kind of looking for that middle of that Venn diagram. And I would start with what the world needs, and then I would work from that and figure out what it is that you're great at, and then just shoot 100% for those uh, opportunities through any means possible. Network, email, knock on doors, whatever you need to do. I don't believe in doing seven different things and doing them, you know, nice. I, I believe in doing one thing and getting really, really good at, you know, at it. You pick a topic, a really focused topic, right? and you go all in. And you become the person that you go to for that topic. <laughs> and make that your thing. Make it your thing. And when I mean make it your thing, I mean you need to be known. You need to like geek out over it, right? You need to read every blog. You need to go to every conference. You need to become the person that's known for that. So if, uh, you know, if I'm an executive thinking about who, who, you know, I have a problem with this, who should I pick for? It's not even a thought. It's like, oh, that person. When we compete, there, there's no seventh place trophy for an entrepreneur, right? You're, you're, you're number one, number two, number three is the alternative that maybe if they have a budget they go for, right? And number four, nobody even knows or cares. I'm gonna throw it to you. You're a great networker. Right now, I wanna get in the practical sense of things and not just your theories on it, but tips, you know, things that, to be successful, to, to do networking well, and how to sort of overcome if you have any fear of it. Floss. <laughs> no, uh, seriously, I would say, uh, what's networking? It's meeting people, right? It's meeting people and forming relationships. Giving before you ask for anything, right? Whenever you encounter anybody, just go in with an open mind and like, what value can I bring to you? Be interested in what they're doing, what their big agenda is, what they're trying to get done on that day and that month in their career, the next level and see if every time you can bring value to that in some way. And if you do that for long enough, eventually they will ask you, well, what can I do for you? And you'll find your mentor, you'll find your whatever it is. Job, do you have an I, I think for me, there's sort of seeing through the vision and the vision for my company is to deploy that time in the most cost effective way. And I wake up every day and I say, man, if we can knock that by just a couple percentages, if we can, you know, reduce that 60 cents by doing it better for the patient and I could live to see that outcome, that's just like everything that I could wish for in my career. To actually make a significant impact, to know that what I did made a difference, I think that's the highest uh, thing for me. You know, I started very early. You know, I had ideas that I wanted to implement, that, you know, and I, I was on a mission. It, th these ideas will be implemented, right, one way or another. And I think it all wraps up into what Tal had said, too, about networking. And I think we all believe this, too, is that when you're on a job interview, you're selling yourself. I would say for an early careerist, the, the, the one thing is I would say just go for it, you know. Uh, don't don't take failure too hard it's basically a data collection mechanism try stuff out and then try to be dispassionate about whatever happened good or bad and try to really dissect what happened if you have a good mentor if you're focused and if you're really out there you know networking putting yourself which you all are um, 
you'll be all right. You know, it's only 20% of the GDP that this market we're in is. And, uh, <laughs> you know, th there's plenty of opportunity to improve, right?